Hey YouTube, this is RoadDoc326 coming at you again with another G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra review. This time we'll be doing Anthony Flash Gambello, the Laser Rifle Trooper. Let's bring his box over. You can see his face. He's really cool. Uh, back. Other figures in the wave. Uh, I, I don't know, what is that, wave 3? Maybe a different collection of wave 4. I actually don't, I'm actually not sure if anyone wants to go ahead and correct me to help people out and me out go ahead feel free there's his file card I'll try to move the camera back here and also up <laughs> All right, this should be good yeah there we go so anyway his file card reads Anthony Flash Gambello is a heavy laser specialist and an expert in all things electronic he keeps the team armed with cutting-edge, high-energy laser weapons and pulse energy projectiles, projectile systems, and he can repair weapons in the field with whatever's at hand. Real name's Anthony S. Gambello. There's a serial number. He's a sergeant. His preferred weapon is a Dew Series Electromagnetic Tactical Anti-Aircraft Laser Gun. Put this back, and then push the camera forward and back down again. That should be good to bring in Flash here. Here he is. Looks really good. Um, he is his own mold, so he's not like one of those Franken figures I like to call them, where they're built from different pieces of different Joes. This guy's just every part of him is totally new mold, and that makes me happy. I think one thing that makes him look funny is his big feet. His his feet to me look big. Maybe not to you guys. Now I really did want to pick up Flash, not just because he's his own his own mold but because I just started reading the classic comics and Flash is actually one of the very original G.I. Joes along with Hawk, Scarlet, uh, Rock and Roll, Grunt, Snake Eyes, Breaker, Clutch did I say? That sounds like all of them. I'm probably missing one. A Stalker but still I'm probably missing one. I don't know. But he is one of the very originals and he did always have red on him like that and he always was a laser trooper. So I like how they always stay semi, semi-traditional with Flash. Now he does have this, these shoulder pads which do come off. Just take off his head and then take it off. I'm not gonna do it. Hate taking off uh, figures heads because then the heads get loose. Uh, some things to note, he's got this little, what looks like a knife on his back, like the back of his belt. It doesn't come off, but nice detail. Same with on the side, a couple grenades. A bigger one and a small one. Uh, I just dropped them. I can't believe I'm dropping figures so much today. I kept doing that with uh, Charbroil, too. Uh, articulation, might as well go over. It does have a 360 on the head, even with this collar. It doesn't restrict it. Uh, not a 360 on the arms. It can, but this is in the way. Uh, elbow, 360 on the wrist. 360 mid torso, which is kind of hard to do with that chest piece. The grenades seem to get in the way. Uh, legs do move forward and back. Uh, this little uh, crotch guard does block it. Uh, move out and in, double jointed knees, 360 at the foot and a pivot down. He does come with a stand. I like to show and tell how well he fits to it. And he does, he fits on very tightly. It takes some force to get him in, but once you get him in, he ain't coming out. Accessories start with his, you know, we'll do those at the same time. Um, we'll actually start with his helmet. Try to get a better focus of that. Yeah. Now, I, I like this helmet, and it does, well, we'll not put it on yet. But one thing I did notice was these two holes right here. Now, probably what it was was Hasbro had the original idea to maybe connect those with like a, a wire or something, but they never they never did that and they never filled the holes. Uh, the the face mask is clear; you can sort of see through it. It's got more. It's it's really foggy. We'll just put it on. It really gives him more character. I mean, with that Balaklava he was wearing, he was basically just like. Firefly or Snake Eyes or anybody. But this helmet really makes him unique. 
I like it. It does stay on really well. It doesn't fall off or anything. Next thing, he comes with this, what I would call an, an M8, which was a in-development rifle for the United States, but it's not in production anymore. I don't remember why, but it's it's not. It was a really cool gun. It's in a lot of video games like Rainbow Six and stuff. And Ghost Recon, any Tom Clancy game really. Uh, so it's a really cool looking rifle. And it does fit in both of his hands really well. So. I like it. Next, he comes with We'll just do his oversized rocket launcher, which would I be what I would imagine what they were talking about as his preferred weapon, like the anti-aircraft thing. It's what I would imagine because it's so big. Here's the missile. A little bit of detail on the missile. It's mostly red. You can see like these little lines on them. Maybe that's how it, it separates itself from other missiles being a laser. Now this has probably one of the tightest springs on it and very powerful. Yeah, that's that's definitely one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, spring I've I've ever felt. Uh, so yeah. Next he comes with this. I I would imagine is like a laser rifle, with this long string and a little pegged ball thing at the end. And since I've seen a review of this guy before, I know that it didn't go into his back. But I'm just gonna act ignorant here and just be like. Oh, I thought when I first got him, you put it in this peg in his back, but no, it, do it doesn't fit anywhere on him. It actually fits, unfortunately, into his oversized rocket launcher and this bottom part right here, and it does peg into that. Not very cool, because you'd have to have him hold both of them, and these things are impossible to hold, or you'd have to have this just lay on the ground and him hold it. It, it doesn't, it's not very good. I'm not happy about that, so I usually just will just unpeg it, and I'll just usually have it in his hand and have that little th thing just free floating around. I don't really care. Now this rifle does fit into both of his hands very well, and it looks really cool on him. Like uh, definitely what Flash would have: big, long, not so futuristic looking rifle. I mean, it looks pretty. It looks pretty much like it w it could be real, but it, it shoots lasers, and it does look kind of futuristic. It doesn't look too obnoxious or unreal. Like if if anyone ever made a laser rifle in real life, odds are this is what it would look like. They don't make it look alien or anything weird. But that's really all I think I can say about this guy. I, I love this figure. He's one of my best purchases. Whole new mold. Definitely pick him up if you can find him. I've had some trouble lately, but. I finally snatched him and Charbroil. They were both pretty hard to find for a little bit, but I got them both. So if you see either of them in your stores, pick them up. Great toys. I will see you all later.